guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. And in today's video, this is a collective haul. These are fragrances that I've purchased uh, around Thanksgiving time up until like a few weeks ago. So some of these I've had for a few months and I've really tested them out and some I recently just purchased, I'll let you know. And yeah, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. The first fragrance house that I was interested in, I've seen a lot about them on here on YouTube and also on Instagram, so I was really interested in them. It's called Sense of Wood. Now, I was interested in them too because I think the concept behind it is pretty interesting. Um, I'll let You can read on their website how they kind of develop their fragrances. They, they kind of, um, you know, I'll let you read on that because who wants to be here? Everyone wants to just see what I purchased, okay? So anyway, yeah, I'll let you get into that, but that's the reason why I was interested in that, and the bottles look really cool, so I was really, I got sucked in, okay? So the first one here probably comes as no surprise, because I think everybody's interested in this one. This is Plum and Cognac. The cool thing with this company is you get to pick your um, the color of your bottle. This is the ivory one and the color of your cap. This is the gold one. So yeah, so of course, of course, I had to choose this one because I feel like everyone talks about this one and I felt like this was probably the safest one for me to buy because I knew I probably would just, I would like it since the notes sounded like things I really enjoy. So yeah, this has, um, it's fruity, it's sweet, woody, and boozy, I would say. Um, it has notes of plum, rum, cinnamon, Peru balsam, vanilla, immortel, labdanum, osmanthus, and Haitian vetiver. This one is really nice. Now, I'm gonna say that if I was the responsible consumer, which I never am, but if I was and got a sample of this first, would I have purchased it? Because these are super expensive. Would I have purchased it? To be honest, probably not. I'm not saying I dislike it because I do like it and, and now that I have it, I'm happy to have it. I wouldn't sell it, I like it but it smells like things I've smelled before. It smells like a like a, uh, a sweet kind of fruit, dark fruit with a lot of uh, cinnamon and a lot of, a little bit of like that cinnamon spice with that boozy undertone to it. It's sweet, it's slightly woody, it's a little smoky. But to me, it smells like, like I said, things I've smelled before. So when I first smelled it, I was expected to be like super wowed by it and like blown away because it gets a lot of uh, rave reviews. And I was a little underwhelmed, I think, and it's terrible for me to say that. And I hope if you like this fragrance, I like it. I don't dislike it, but I'm just saying like be aware if you have a large collection or if you've smelled fragrances that are in this category it definitely smells like fragrances in this category it smells like a sweet boozy cinnamon uh slightly smoky vanilla woody scent you know um it smells just as it as it's described really um so yeah do i like it yes would i have purchased it if i bought a sample probably not um i'm not mad to have it but you know, just just know that, that, you know, is it my favorite? I have one that I, I really prefer much better, much more than, than this one. Um, but yeah, as far as like lasting power, on me particularly, like everybody's lasting power and like, you know, projection, it's so subjective, right? But to me, just so you know, like it doesn't, if I probably get four to six hours wear out of this and it's kind of sits closer to my skin. I'm also not an oversprayer. I'm gonna put that out there. I don't overspray, I might do, you know, maybe I do like three sprays of this. It's a very dark, dark juice, so you don't want to spray it on your clothes because it, it probably will stain your clothes. It's very dark, um, as in the color of the, the liquid inside. But yeah, so that is the first one that I got. Like I said, I like I, I like it. I'm happy to have it. Would I purchased it if I sampled it? I don't know, probably not. But mm, you live and you learn, people. Learn from me, save your money. So that is Plum and Cognac. Now the one that I do really like. Now this was uh, this was a blind buy too. Like I mean, what was I thinking? But I I'm, I really really like this one. This one is Oak and Oak. Now my beautiful friend Veronica by uh, from Veronica says I'll link her channel down below. She did like a whole uh, she did like a haul or like a video on these, and this is one of the ones that stood out when she was talking about it. And I'm like, man, this smells like this is probably right up my alley because. Um, and it is like this one i like this one a lot more than i like the plum and cognac i also find because this is very sweet to me this is super sweet 
And when I say super sweet, keep in mind, I'm not someone that enjoys like really heavily gourmand fragrances. So super sweet to me might not be super sweet to you. So just keep that in mind, you know, but this is sweet for me. Now this one, this one's, I'll read you the notes. This one is a woody amber and spicy scent. Ugh, I love it. It has oak, incense, saffron, cumin, which don't be scared. I know people don't like cumin and I don't really just smell that. I don't really smell that in here. Tonka bean, orris root, patchouli, Virginia cedar. What I get from this one, this one is like a, such an amazing woody scent. This one smells to me like if you had like an oak and cedar chest. Like, you know when, you know, uh, your grandparents would store like, like their blankets and all their like, their precious items in like a, that cedar chest when you're, and then when you pull out those items, it smells of that cedar and oak kind of scent. Well, I had one when I was growing up and it smells like that to me. However, this also has a little bit, it's almost has a gourmand quality to it. Now, not too much where it smells like it's, I wouldn't consider this a gourmand fragrance at all, but there's a sweetness and it's probably from that tonka bean. It, it, it almost verges on on a, I don't, maybe it's the patchouli in here. It almost verges on a little bit chocolatey to me when I smell it. Like it almost has like the, a chocolatey, uh, but I don't want you to think it's like a gourmand, gourmand chocolate. It's like a little bit of a sweetened, chocolatey quality to it that sweetens it up just slightly. So it's not just a flat out wood scent, uh, but I love this. This one smells, I think maybe because it <clears throat> smells a little nostalgic to me from that like cedar. It smells like a cedar chest. And I really, really like this. Again, on this as well for me, oh, and this bottle here is like, just so you know, cause it's hard to, if you're deciding what color bottles you want, this is the chocolate brown. This is the brown bottle with the gold cap. Um, so these are the two bottles that I got here, the ivory and the chocolate. Yeah, and I'm, so like I said, I prefer this one out of the two that I have. However, this one, yeah, this one is just a really amazing woody cedar oak scent with a little hair of sweetness in there. And I'm not sure, like I said, where it's coming from, probably the Tonka. Um, and it almost pulls, sometimes when, it, sometimes when I wear it, it's just woody on me. And sometimes when I wear it, it has like a little bit of that gourmand quality to it. It's really, I'm gonna spray a little bit on. It's really nice. Now, this doesn't, again, this is not super long lasting on me. Um, I would say four to six hours and it's a little bit of a quiet scent on me, but I don't, I don't over spray. I probably spray a couple sprays of this and I'm content. I like to spray it around like my clothes, not on my neck, but my clothes so I can get like whiffs of it. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. I mean, I think it would smell nice on a man too if that man likes woody scents, this is this is gorgeous. So that is Oak and Oak. This isn't a review, but I guess it's turning into one by Scent of Wood. Now my gorgeous friend, Chris from the Perfume Nest, oh my gosh, she was so sweet. She sent me a, um, a, a gift for my birthday. Oh God, is she ever so cute. I don't have the box because I left it in the other room. But from Scent of Wood, you can actually get like a gift box. It comes with a candle, some incense, uh, leaves and a 10 ml fragrance so I have the candle in front of me and because I had it over here and then the fragrance she picked out was praline and maple so isn't that cute I love that and the, and the packaging is adorable on their um on their travel sprays and this is such a perfect amount because especially if you have a large collection I mean do you need a giant bottle of anything no Melissa you don't but pff, the candle smells I mean I haven't burned it yet but it smells so good. Now this one, I love this one. This one smells like when I first sprayed it, immediately I felt like, oh, this smells like a much better amped up version of like By the Fireplace by Mason Margello. I have like just a travel spray of that. The reason why I say that, so this is the praline and maple, and the reason why I say that, say that is because I definitely get, I'll read you the notes, but it has black pepper, pink pepper, uh, clove, uh, Peru balsam, alabanum, cedar wood, praline and chestnut and uh, guyac wood. I really get the chestnut in here and I think that's why I kind of uh, like can compare it to by the fireplace because it has this sweet smoky like the by the fireplace that this sweet smoky type of scent with I smell that nutty chestnut in here as well and then you do get you get like a maple sap 
Like I can smell the maple and the maple is probably what sweetens it, but it doesn't sweeten it to be like a sickly sweet scent um, at all. It's just a really nice, sweet, woody, nutty, smoky scent. So this, and look how the color of the juice is so cool. It's like a, it's almost like a green color. But yeah, so that is praline and maple. And thank you, Chris. I love it. It's, it smells so good. I'm like treasuring it. I baby this thing. Smell. And this one actually lasts, actually, this one lasts really well on me. I, I sprayed it on in the evening time and I can still smell, probably like, you know, eight hours later, I could still smell this one. So this is more of the, this is one of the longer lasting ones on me. Okay, so that is all the scents of woods. I really like the house. Um, and it's nice that they have travel sprays. Yeah, so you could test them out before you buy the big bottles because they're very expensive. So just keep that in mind. Now, I was on uh, Instagram and I saw Sarah from Glam Finds. I'll link her channel down below. I love her, by the way. So if you haven't checked her channel out, please do so. She, she, really, she really finds really neat and... Um, different type of perfume houses and companies to kind of, and she showcases them and they always sound amazing and I fell down that rabbit hole. So she told, she put on her Instagram about this, um, this guy, he sells on uh, Etsy for the scent of it. I will link his Etsy down below. His name is Michael and he's an indie perfumer. So he's an independent perfumer and I really like to support like smaller brands and companies and people that are really passionate about fragrances. So um, the first one I bought from him is called Tobacco Pod, and he's reasonably priced too. So uh, this is a one ounce, and it's called Tobacco Pod. Now this one has notes of spices, tobacco absolute, vanilla, and cedar wood. This one smells really nice. This one actually, the spices in here, I believe, smell to me like clove or like that allspice, nutmeg. So it smells. To me, it's it's along the lines of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini. However, for me, Tobacco Vini, I don't love the dried fruits in that one. Some, sometimes it, it just, on my skin, Tobacco Vini gets dusty smelling. It smells very dusty and dry, and it makes me cough. I don't know why. Um, it, it probably just, it, the dryness of or the spices in it. But this one smells really, really nice. But if you like tobacco vanille or you have, maybe if you even have it and you want like an alternative to wear or you ran out of that one, this one is really, really nice um, fragrance. It It's very long lasting. On me, uh, 10 plus hours. I smelled it, I sprayed it on at night and I still smelled it well, you know, when I woke up and in the morning time before I showered, I could still smell it. And I only did like a couple sprays. I really like the dry down. It has a little bit of a, um, it has the perfect amount of sweetness and spiciness and it's a little bit airy and it projects really nicely. So this one is really, really nice. So that is Tobacco Pod by For the Scent of It. Nice, like I said, Tobacco Vini. If you like that type of scent, you, you'll like this. You'll like that one for sure. And then the next one I got because I liked that one and I was like, you know, I wanted to try another one from him. And then also he, he nicely, he sends two really good sized samples with every full bottle order. So you can try some of his other fragrances in his collection as well when you buy a full bottle. This next one here is called Wasteland Warrior. This is one of his newer ones. And it's really cool, like under his Etsy, he has like a description or the inspiration of the fragrance. So I like reading those as well because it's nice to see what inspired them to make this type of fragrance. This one here has notes of, I got this because um, it's not the, because of Sarah, Glam Fine, she said it was amazing. So I was like, oh, she thinks it's amazing. I will too. And the notes sounded interesting. It sounds like nothing I have in my collection, so I wanted to get it. This one has notes of blood orange, coriander, yarrow, blood cedar, vetiver, scorched resins, vanilla, and amber. This one smells very good, okay? This one is, if you like ambery, <clears throat> excuse me, if you like ambery, resinous fragrances, you would really like this one. This one to me, this one to me, I don't wanna say it smells the same, because it doesn't. Because it doesn't have like, it doesn't smell incense -y. But if you know uh, Andy Towers, 
La Air, do Desert, whatever. I'll put a picture up here. If you know that fragrance, it's like this dry, arid, incense -y amber, very resinous scent. You would probably like this one because this one to me is almost, while I love that one, that one's like a holy grail fragrance for me. This one is like a very wearable version of that. And I hate to say it, but it's just truth. I'm going to just say it. This one is a much longer lasting. I really get the, on paper, I really get that blood orange note in the opening because there's like blood orange and blood cedar. And you can smell that on paper. Should I just spray it on me? I'll just do it. I don't, oh, it's, this is really nice. Yeah, this is really quite amazing. I wouldn't say this is probably, maybe it's not a safe blind buy for everyone because maybe not everyone would enjoy this, but I think if you like those deep, resinous, rich kind of scents that Andy Tower fragrances have, you would really like this one. Oh, it's really good. This one is very amazing and quite unique. I feel like for um, an indie perf perfumer, it is really, I, it's it's 100% worth the price. Very long lasting on my skin. I, re I just got this one the other day, so I haven't had it too long. I only like sprayed it once on my hand and it lasted really well. But when I did, the minute I sprayed it, I was like, does this remind me of something? What does it remind me of? And it reminded me of that Andy Tower one. Like I said, it's not exact and it's not like, I wouldn't say it's like a dupe or if it's like, but I feel like if you like that one, you will definitely like this one. And it's almost smoother because I sprayed both of them on one, like when I got this one. This one's, uh, the for the scent of it is smoother. That blood orange is really nice in the opening and actually, I can smell the blood orange almost like throughout the fragrance too. It's really good. So yeah, I mean also too, it's like, pff, why not, you know, I mean. So yeah, I, like I said, love this one so far. I haven't had a major, like a lot of time to wear it, but what I've tried so far, it's excellent. So that is Wasteland Warrior, um, and that's by For the Scent of It. And like I said, I'll link his Etsy down below. Um, and it's nice because I noticed that like if anything goes in and out of stock with him, he, he actually restocks quite quickly. Because I know sometimes that happens with the indie perfumers, like you, they don't come back in stock for a really long time, but these these are really, really good. These are very good quality, I do have to say that. Excellent. So good job with that. Okay, so this one here, this one is very affordable. And I have a little story. <laughs> of course, I always have a little story. but. I was looking for, I wanted like a very, I was just looking for like wo a woody kind of scent, really. That's what I was looking for. That's what I mostly look for is like woody scents. Now, I have recently been watching, I think we just finished it, but yeah, you ever, does anyone watch the show Yellowstone? I mean, if you like a manly man or those cowboys, oh my God, just watch the show for that because it's just 100% worth it for that anyway so while uh this has maybe it's correlated because i was watching the show and i purchased this, this at the same time i don't know but i bought this fragrance by memoir archives and it's called cabin retreat this is very affordable you can pretty much find this on sale and and all this this is a big bottle it's like a 3.4 bottle 3.4 ounce like i said very affordable now let me tell you something I don't know, when I bought this, I sprayed it, and I was like, this probably smells, I'm gonna put a picture of them, because like you might think on Yellowstone, if you watch it, you're like, oh, you probably like Casey, right? No. I think, well, two, well, they're all very nice looking men, but Kevin Costner, okay, with his hat on, I bet you he would smell like this. This is probably, Get back to the perfume, Melissa. No one wants to hear about Yellowstone and your obsession with Kevin Costner. <laughs> do you? Maybe you do. This says it has notes of cedarwood, oak moss, and sandalwood. This to me smells like the sandalwood that might be like in Santal 33. It's a little bit more of like that herbaceous sandalwood. So you may have to like that type of sandalwood to enjoy this. However, 
I really don't like Santal 33 too much because I feel like it's it's a little bit too herbaceous for me and a little bit too mm -mm. this one it has something else in it that makes it feel like okay I'm gonna just paint a picture if if Kevin Costner was to get up in the morning because they get up really early before like the Sun is even out and he took a shower and he put on like a little bit of cologne he's got his flannel shirt on and you know all those jackets he wears and his hat on okay so he's got his cologne on and he's out riding his horse and you know doing all his manly things out there chopping wood and <laughs> riding his horse and what are feeding the cat doing whatever he does you know once he came inside at the end of the at the end of the day this is probably what it all smells like it's got a kind of like a cologne type of scent to it on top of woods cedar like a very woody fresh uh cedar as well yeah so it has a mix of like a cologne along with that type of scent it smells like a man that came in from the woods and you're smelling his flannel shirt and it smells like he's been doing a lot of manly things all day long okay that's what this smells like and he's sitting in his cabin by the fire drinking some whiskey that's what i feel like this smells like kevin costner moving on <laughs> anyway i don't think this is probably if you like really girly scents or don't like scents that have like kind of a really strong masculine maybe this is too masculine for a lot of people because i've seen reviews on it and people say this smells like a men's cologne i like it. it smells like amazingness so anyway that is memoir archives cabin retreat love it almost done here we have three more left now these last three <clears throat> i found these at where did i find these tj maxx I sure did. I found these at TJ Maxx and I was like, they were so affordable. I think they were $24.99 or I don't know, something like that. And I was like, well, I'm just going to get them. Try them out. I've never smelled them before when I bought them. So they were a blind buy for me. Now my favorite one, I haven't even given the other ones a fair shot because this one I've been wearing a lot because I got these around like Christmas time. And this is Christmas. This one. I'm not going to be able to pronounce these. So I'll put the name on the screen. But this is Serge Luton's De Clau pour un Pelleur. Right. I'll put the name on the screen because it may not focus because of the glare. Okay, whatever. But anyway, it's like this in the in the in the color of the liquid is like this mouthwash blue. I don't know why they did that, but it's blue. Anyway, if you know, then you'll know. Christmas time, you take it, you know, when you have like an orange and you stick the cloves in the orange, that's this, that's the scent. That's what this smells like. And like an orange, I'll put a picture of, we used to make those when we were little and it's like, it smells like the holidays, Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, when things are like spicy and like, but you get the orange, the citrus of the orange. It literally smells just like that. It's it's quite amazing. I, it's, it's a little bit simplistic in a way, but very unique to me. I don't have anything in my collection that smells like this, and I love the way that orange clove smells. I think it, it says it only lists orange, clove, and nutmeg, and that basically is, that's exactly what it smells like. Like if you wanna smell like Christmas, like with the citrus and the clove, this fragrance is yours. This is exactly the scent that you need course I know Christmas is over but if you find this at TJ Maxx at all I mean it's well worth I think it was only $24.99 and oh my god like I I have been loving this scent I think it's very unisex um it doesn't smell too masculine or feminine to me it's perfectly down the middle it's amazing I love it so that is the Serge Luton's and I'll put the name down here because I'm not pronouncing it but yeah this was this was fantastic um a fantastic find I love that one now the other two I found I'm not it's Le Freud Le Freud on the screen I'll put the name can't see it because of the glare but this one is a um, very aromatic and like a fresh spicy green scent I like this one too this one I feel like this line in general is quite nice it's it's a little bit less um, it's probably like seems like it's more of like their easier to wear line or like their fresher line um, but this one has notes of seawater, mint, incense, vetiver, pepper, olibanum, musk, and ginger. 
Yeah, this is just like a very fresh, woody, green, very herbaceous type of scent to me. It, it, it has a lot of herbaceous qualities to it. I do get the mint in here. Um, as far as the incense, I don't I don't think I get too much of incense, but it's it's just a very fresh, herbaceous, um, easy to wear. I don't think this is very offensive. I don't think people will, you know, get mad if you're wearing it around them because it's just quite light and fresh, minty, herby, er, herby, herby, herby. That's not a word. Is that the car? Remember there was a car. Herby, whatever. Anyway, Herby. So yeah, so that was that one. I do. I haven't worn this one as much as the other one, the orange one. Um, but this one does smell very nice, and I, I like it. And I think for twenty four ninety nine, it's nice. And this last one is Lolo de Amros. Nope. Why'd you bother saying it? This one is also another very aromatic, woody scent but this one has some lavender in it it has notes of lavender tonka bean woody notes incense iris and amber this one's a little bit more sharper when i smell it from the bottle i haven't worn this too much but i can definitely smell the lavender and i think the lavender in here is more of that like soapy herbal type of lavender take on it um i probably prefer this one as like my least favorite out of all of them i do i do still like it but um yeah because of the lavender in here the tonka bean, there's no sweetness in here. I don't find the sweet really at all. But again, a very herbal, aromatic, fresh type of scent um, with lavender. And like I said, I think it feels to me more of like that soapy, uh, herbaceous type of lavender. Um, and yeah, but easy to wear. Another easy one to wear. Like it's more like a splash. You just spray it on, you know. So yeah, guys, that is everything I purchased in the last couple months. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.